Hello and welcome back to Easy Web Tutorials. Uh, today we'll uh, go through uh, a bit of uh, cleanup and uh, creating new content on the start page and we will also be explaining uh, some of the uh, tag elements that we can use in our project to help us uh, render content from uh, the uh, CMS. Uh, so we'll jump right in with uh, the code here. We have our project open, our local project in VS Code. And uh, to the right, you can see we have our website running on localhost. Uh, so first of all, we can uh, open up the views folder in our project. And here we have all of our HTML that uh, renders uh, our content from the uh, CMS. So we can open our home folder. And here we have a few different files. We have one that's called hero. We have one that's called new section. We have one that's called text image. And then we have our home.cshtml. Uh, if you're not familiar with CSHTML, uh, it's just uh, an extension of uh, the HTML files that you normally code in, uh, but with the ability to write C sharp code in them. Uh, we will not be doing that, however, and you don't have to have the knowledge to do that, to be able to follow along with this guide. Here we have a, a very uh, short statement in this file. Uh, it says EW template, and uh, we will be referring to the tags as EWI because it rolls better on my tongue. And uh, EW stands for EasyWeb. So anytime there's an EW in the tag in HTML files, we know that it's a tag helper for the EasyWeb system. So here we are at EasyWeb, uh, the start page for our site. And on the left here, we will be in the content management side of the site. And to the right, we will be in the developer side of the site. So we go into our start page here. Uh, we saw it in the last video too. Uh, we have the hero that corresponds to the hero file in our project. And here we have a label that says headline with some content and a label that says text box with some content. Uh, and to the right here now, we'll navigate into the developer studio, which we will be doing by clicking the wrench in the header. Uh, here we have the template and components that uh, this view is using. So if we focus on the hero here, we can see that we have a section called hero with a key hero. And this key is what the HTML file will be using to render the content. So the HTML file is called hero and it will be searching for a section in our view that is called hero. And it will find this hero section, which is specified by the key. Uh, and the hero section has the same key and label, but uh, the headline, for instance, does not. So if we look at the text box, uh, that is the headline in the studio, uh, we can see uh, yeah, the headline is to the left there of the text box that is called text box. So we have a label that says headline, but then underneath there is a gray text that says header. So header is the key we'll be using to jack into this element and render the contents in our code. Uh, so we can see that the sections corresponds with uh, the view in our content management and it responds to the view we, ha we have in our code. And that's pretty much as simple as it is. We can also show so, what happens if, let's say we, we want to remove this key. So we remo remove it from the studio and save. Uh, and if we now take a look at our site, you will see that our uh, headline will disappear. So if these two exactly. doesn't match up, it won't be rendered on the site. Yes, that's exactly right. Sorry for interrupting, uh, Oscar. No problem, no problem. Feel free. Uh, so uh, now we can change the uh, text in our headline as we did in the last video. We can change it to our uh, very good new headline uh, or we can change the text in the text box here so here we've changed both the contents of the headline and the text box and we will see that it 
reflected on the site if we reload it. And now if we go to the code, we can see that we have an H1 that's EV4 header, and that is the key for that text box, and the same is for the text box content. So, but we can change these tags to uh, be able to manipulate how these will be rendered out on our site. So if, for instance, we change the header tag to a P tag, and we change the text box content tag to a, an H1 tag. Then that will reflect on our site, and it will still be the same content that is fetched from EasyWeb but it will be rendered out as we want it to, and we will specify that in the code. Uh, now we're gonna clean up this uh, start page a little bit. So we can uh, revert that change. So we keep the H1 for the header and the P for text box content. And then we'll go into uh, EasyWeb again. Uh, we'll scroll, yeah? One more thing, because uh, if you noticed we have for for the headline we have a key that says header but for the text box there's just an empty uh, so this uh, text box content is just a fallback for uh, for the key but a custom key then we can just type like text box uh, but if, if it's empty then it, the text box content is the like the default default key for that section yes that's right so there are default keys for sections but uh, i myself i usually prefer to put custom keys on everything because then I know exactly what is rendered out and I can jack into every element as I choose and I don't have to keep all these default keys in my memory. Uh, but we'll uh, scroll back to uh, the uh, content management. And we can see here if we're gonna take the text plus image section and clean that up a bit, we can see that we have an image here that is broken and that is because uh, we don't have any images on our site. So EasyWeb is not just a text uh, system. You can also upload files and link them into your pages, which is uh, very easy and simple to do. So we'll start by doing that. So we can click the uh, trash, trash bin in the image to remove the broken link. And then we'll click the plus to add an image, but since we have a brand new site, we don't have any images yet. So we will upload an image to link into our page. Perfect. And then we will select that image. And now we can see that the image is no longer broken. We can save and publish. And if we go over to our local host and reload. Yeah, there will be no image because uh, if we take a look at our code again uh, so let's close the hero section and open the text and image file uh, we will see inside the image uh, we don't have like the the tag helpers or or any image exactly so here we'll need to fix that and we will need to uh, create an image tag which will get the uh, source for the image url and that is very, very simple. So we create a usual image tag. And if we wanted to link in any image from the internet or from our computer, we can do that the normal way with uh, SRC. But then we can use the EasyWeb tag helpers also to link in an image from EasyWeb. So we type EW for SRC. And then we will want to go into the studio and we will check the text image section and we find our image there. We type a custom key that we will name image. We save the view. And then we will use this custom key to find our image and render it out. And when we do that, we can see that the code project will find the image and fetch it from, the, uh, from EasyWeb. Fantastic. And now we'll do the same thing in the news section. So if we open the news section in our code, we can see here that uh, we are already rendering out a few things. 
And here we have another tag helper, which is an EWI list. We will be deep diving into this tag helper in future videos, but for now know that this is like a uh, loop that will loop out all of the contents or all of the components if you have a list of items in EasyWeb, which is also supported. So the news list is a feature component that is used to uh, loop out uh, the articles we have in our news module. You can use this component in other ways and uh, we will be showing you how in later videos as well. But we will navigate over to the news module in the CMS to the left. And here we can see our three different news articles. And if we go over to our site, we can see that it is these three uh, labels that are rendered out in the list. So uh, to be able to choose what from these articles we want to render, we need to have a look again in the studio and check out what keys we're working with. So we can open the uh, news standard view in our news module. And here we can see the components that the news have. So we have an article content, which is the section for the news. And then we have the ingress, which is uh, a text box. And then we have a free text, which is uh, a component that is used to create an HTML editor. But if we navigate over to our code again, uh, we can see that we're already rendering out the news item in the EWI list that we use the key news list in. And we can also see that we have an H3 for a, a dollar sign label, and that will Klaus uh, explain what that is doing there. So normally you'll always use the keys when you're defining your own content and what you want your views in different pages to contain. Uh, each article does have some uh, predefined attributes that always exist on it. Uh, among them are label, you have created, edited, things like that. You have color and some special properties that will always be there. You can see them as root properties. Uh, you can reach those by always using the dollar, dollar keyword. And you'll like tap into the underlying actual properties of the object, in this case, the article. So a dollar label will always print the article label. So it starts with this label uh, taken from jQuery. You have the same thing if you look at line number seven, uh, we're printing the link to this article. So their dollar is used as this. So since we're iterating over a list of news, the dollar inside this scope, the list scope, will be referred to as this. So an EV4 HRF to this will be a link to that news article that is being iterated over. Fantastically said, Klaus. Uh, but here we can see that we have once again a div with a class image. So we want to render out an image here. But if we go to the uh, news section here and we're in uh, the news article that is called Easy Web Studio, we can see that it's not really any, there's not anywhere for us to add our image. So we're going to have to add that component ourselves in the studio. So here we have our article content. Oh, sorry. Uh, and here we can press the little plus icon on our article content section. And that will bring up the list of feature components that we can add. And as you can see, there's a lot of feature components. The main ones that are good to remember is the single line text box, which is just a normal text box. We have the open content, which is an HTML editor. And we have the media component, which, which can be both an image or a video. And then we also have a, an image component, which can only be an image. So since we're not going to want to have the opportunity to link videos into this uh, article, we will click the image component, not the main image component. Uh, so the image component. Uh, and you can also add new components, uh, new children to a section by clicking the section. 
and then you would see that it's marked in a blue border and then you can add the components from the menu in the footer so here we can find our image you can also use the uh, search function to search for components so if Nicholas searches for image here he will find the image component uh, but we have now added two images so we only want one so we we'll remove one image and that we can do by clicking the gears and then click remove and now we'll add our own custom key to the image as well so we can uh, dub this key uh, image uh, dash news for instance we'll save our view we'll go back into the uh, content management part of EasyWeb. And here, if we reload the site, we'll see that we should now have the option beneath the uh, free text editor to add the image, and that we do. So here we can add the image that we already uploaded or upload a new image. Yeah, and also because uh, there's should. like, this section is kind of kind of big. So if you want to move the image, like at the top, we can just drag it uh, in, the, in the studio. So let's say we want it at first. And then save and reload the page. And now we, there's a at the top bot, top of the section. Perfect. So now we have instant access to our image. So we'll be linking the same image that we already uploaded here, or Nicholas will upload a new image. And we'll select that image and save and publish our article. And now when we go back to the code, we can in our div here for the image, we can do exactly as we did in the hero file. So we'll put an image tag down and then we'll uh, use the tag helper ewe for src and then we'll give it our key. So image news. And if we save this and reload our local host, we can see that on the Easy Web Studio article, we now have our image. So here we can see now that we have added an image to all of our news uh, articles, uh, we can see that they're rendered automatically. And since we changed the code to render out the image for our first news article, we don't have to change anything else in the code to make it make the project do the same for the other news articles, which is very efficient. Uh, that's that for today. Thank you for watching and we'll see you next week. Bye. Bye.